Hello, massage nerds. So this is the first video of uh, my uh, MBLEX reviews. And I thought I'd go ahead and start with a little bit of information about the MBLEX. And then after that, the videos I'm going to continue uh, doing will be questions, you know, just giving you little quizzes here and there to prepare you. And I wanted to give you some of the basics. So one of the things that you need to know is that you must attend a 500 hour minimum 500 hour accredited school in texas we require a minimum of 500 hours however there are some states like new york and new jersey that they you know they're over a thousand and some states where they don't even take the emblex 46 out of the 50 states i believe have a requirement of taking the emblex but i know like california doesn't so you know just find out in your state please find out in your state if there's a requirement before you continue and this will be for uh, current students or maybe some of you out there um uh, need reviews too and need to find out uh, more about uh, uh, the emblex so in case you haven't taken the test another suggestion i have is please don't wait a year to take the emblex after you've finished your school because you do start forgetting so it's best to take the emblex a month or two after you have graduated and you can use that time to prepare i suggest you know that you study about an hour every day and um take the the quizzes you know prepare the prep test there's a lot of resources out there. One of the resources that I want to talk about is the AMTA app. These are all apps that you can download to your phone or, you know, probably even your laptop. So the AMTA app, the Emblex Prep, um, there's a Trail Guide to the Body Light, and uh, that'll help you for kinesiology, and Visual Anatomy Light those two uh, trail guide and anatomy visual light they both help you with amp and with kinesiology so these are great great tools that you can use to help you prepare now the uh, emblex prep has questions and i figure that if you're already answering 90 percent of the questions then you are ready to take the emblex however if your percentage is still 50 percent then you need to do a little bit more studying you know to prepare so make sure you download these apps these are some resources that you can use and oh well let's see where do you register so once you're ready you know you register you go to www.fsmtv.org and you register there and then you let your school know too because they have to you have to create an account the test is 265 dollars and um some students do fail it the first time so you have to wait 30 days before you can take the test again if you fail it now a lot of you will pass the first time and that's fantastic but realistically there are some students that are not very good with taking tests they get nervous so you know it's good if they prepare a little bit longer or they retake it if they get you know test anxiety maybe the second time they'll do much better i suggest you chew gum that's a very good one to stimulate your brain and calms you down and of course taking deep breaths while you're taking the test is very good deep breathing always relaxes you so once you register and you're ready to take the exam, you're going to have two hours to take the exam. There's a, a hundred questions and you can't skip a question. You can't move further if, if you skip a question. You have to answer the question. They're multiple choice and you can't go back either. Once you've answered a question, you can't go back and take, you know, change your answer so make sure that you're prepared and that you watch the video on that website because that tells you how the test is going to be don't go in there without any clue how the test is because it's very important for you to be prepared and don't be caught off guard i know that i am challenged you know with technology and if i see something pop up on the test that i'm not familiar where they're trying to show me a tool or you know a drop down to open up another window i'm you know that's gonna make me stress out even more so be prepared they have wonderful videos at this website that fsmtv.org go to it you know 
take the, the quizzes there and see how you do. So these are just some of the study guides. And oh, let me give you the breakdown of how they break down the tests. So it's 11% of anatomy and physiology, 12% of kinesiology questions, 14% of pathology, contraindications, and areas of concern, 15% of benefits and uh, physiological effects and techniques of that manipulate soft tissue, 17% is client assessment and reassessment and treatment planning, 16% is ethics, boundaries, and laws, and 15% is guidelines for professional practices. So they break it down, and that should add up to 100%. Now, I have heard some students tell me that they had a lot of kinesiology questions, or they had a lot of pathology questions. And I think the reason, I mean, I don't know why, but I think one of the reasons might be is because the way it's formatted, and this is all computer you know, generated, <clears throat> they start with an easy question first. And you know, they, they go a little bit higher on the difficulty level. And if you answer top difficult questions, they're gonna continue with that because they figure you know, that you know a lot about this. Uh, you know, that you can handle the difficult questions. And once you miss a difficult question, then it goes back, the level goes back down to a little bit easier. And again, it's on a different scale. I'm not sure how they do that, but I, I know that it does explain that there on the website. So make sure you're prepared and make sure that you watch the videos that are on that website and prepare and take as many quizzes as you can and be confident in yourself and remember that you've already learned it it's just you know you've got to retrieve it from your brain and this will be the first video that i do and then if you have questions and then we'll continue with the questions hope this was helpful and until the next time create a great day